is a very big market, but not yet in Senegal and in Sub-Saharan Africa. But we really need to to improve that production because there is no more, um, there is no enough fishes in in our our oceans, and we really need to 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 complete this gap by aquaculture. Amazing story. So. everyone. Welcome to another enlightening episode of Sharing is Caring. I'm Blue, your AI host, and today we're diving deep into the world of aquaculture with a very special guest, Aristine Mendez, founder and CEO of Shadai Aquaculture. Aristine is pioneering sustainable fish farming in Senegal, transforming the industry by eliminating fish meal from their products and using innovative, eco-friendly alternatives. In this episode, Aristine shares the challenges and opportunities of aquaculture in a coastal country like Senegal, the impact of climate change on fishing, and how her company is helping to fill the protein gap in an environmentally conscious way. Whether you're curious about starting your own aquaculture business or just passionate about sustainable practices, this episode is packed with insights. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoy our content and a big thank you to all our faithful listeners for your continued support. Let's dive in and explore how aquaculture is reshaping the future of food sustainability. Okay. Hi, Aristine. How are you? I'm good. And you? I'm very good. Thank you so much for joining the show today. Oh, it's my pleasure. Um, how about you introduce yourself to our listeners so they get to know what you do and who you are? Okay. I am Aristine Mendes. I am the founder and the CEO of Shada Aquaculture. It's an industry that produces fish feed for fish farming. And uh, we do all we can for an aquaculture that respects our environment by not using fish meal in our products. Okay. Uh, yeah. that, that's amazing. Um, you're from Senegal right yeah uh how come a coastal country is so uh interested in aquaculture what's the story of aquaculture in senegal it sounds super counterintuitive um for our audience aquaculture is uh, you you can actually define what is aquaculture uh, so that i mm -hmm. come across <laughs> as a stupid as a stupid. uh but um, yeah so uh yeah so yeah, can you can you explain what aquaculture is and uh, maybe a bit of the background of aquaculture in Senegal? Okay, aquaculture is everything we can farm with water, like uh, fish farming. When you when you farm fishes in water or or farming shrimps or every kind of um, of of thing you can. Um, you you can you can farm with with water and uh, um in in Senegal we love fishes in a country where we more eat fishes than meals or every uh, every kind of 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 um fish is present in a lot of our plates so we eat this um every time okay and uh with um with 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 the with the 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 climate changing we need to have more fishes in our 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 plants so we are trying to to make culture more accessible to everyone so for now it's not a big uh it's not a big market like agriculture but we really need to 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 improve our aquaculture production in Senegal and we aim in Senegal to produce um, 60,000 60, tons of production per year uh, from, from, two, for, from 2032 yeah. because it's a very big um, aquaculture around the world is a very big market but not yet in Senegal and in Sub-Saharan Africa. But we really need to to improve that production because there is no more um, there is no enough fishes in in our our oceans, and we really need to 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 complete this gap 
by aquaculture. Amazing story. So, uh, so climate change is the concern that made aquaculture uh, prevalent and uh, popular in in Senegal. So, it's because uh, um, people want to reduce carbon emissions, so they turn to aquaculture uh, to fish to fish for for for, for food, and this in turn help uh, reduce uh, carbon emissions. If I got it correctly, exactly. And it's also a kind of population in the in the east of the the Senegal who have not that have not access to fishes every time. You know, us in the west of the country we have uh, oceans, Atlantic Ocean, so we can um, eat food, eat eat fish wherever we want, but not the same case for for the people who are living in the non-castal area and it's very complicated for them so it's not only for for us in senegal to to to, to reduce the 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 carbon emission um with 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 fishes but also to 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 help that kind of people who are living in the non-coastal areas to have also access to fishes okay that's got it that's amazing uh that's uh beautifully for it uh yeah, uh, fish is is as well known to be more uh, carbon efficient than than uh, than cattle or or any kind of meat. So that's that's amazing. And you you are going a step further because what yeah. you're doing is that you're producing uh, products used for aquaculture, which is which takes sustainability into account. So it's really you're going all the way uh, to reduce. Uh, the environmental impact of uh, protein consumption. So it's, it's amazing. Can you can you tell us uh, a little bit more about your activity and uh, yeah and what you do? Of course. So we we produce fish feed for fish farming. You know when you are farming fish, fish they need to it because it's not like in oceans where they have uh, feed where, like they want so you have to, to feed them every time. So okay. you're you're actually going all the way uh, because not only you're promoting aquaculture which is more carbon efficient but you are also with shadow eye aquaculture uh, involved in sustainability uh, would you maybe explain exactly uh, what is it that you do? Of course um, we are the only company in Senegal that does not use fish meal in our production because um, it's very it's not sustainable uh, products to use it. And also, when you use fish meal, it's a lot of it's a lot of fishes you are using to 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 transform it. For example, to have one kilo uh, kilogram of fish meal, you need five kilograms of fishes that can um that can feed a lot of people per year so it's very not sustainable to use it and today it's a big um battle we are um we are doing about not using fish meal in our products it's a pro it, it's a it's an ingredient that we use in every kind of animal feed and it's it's um it have a a, a big um, a big protein rate, but it's not good for our environment to use it to use it uh, a lot. It's very dangerous for our oceans to continue to use it, and also very dangerous for our population because it's the kind of fishes we are eating every day that they use to transform it into um, fish meal for animals. But we can't uh, change the game by uh, making another kind of um we can another kind of um protein source for our for our animals to 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 feed them and it's a big big um battle we are making about that and we cannot we we, we don't use that that um that protein source in our production so what do you use instead um, we instead of that we use um, we use through the house wasps 
that are also a big um, pollutant in the oceans because every day there are a lot of several um, um, several liters of of slaughterhouse um, what we are putting in the oceans and it's also a big uh, pollutant of our ocean more than some some interest, some some waste from industries then we use it and recycle that and 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 uh, transform it into ingredient that is very rich with protein sources and use it in our production we also use some um some um uh, how to say some waste from uh, from 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 our agriculture agriculturists to to transform it into pro protein sources to 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 use it like ingredients in our production. That's amazing. And do the fish like it? Yes, of course. We had um, we 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 taken a lot of time, maybe two years, just to to make tests to be sure that it it will have the the same. Um, the same performance, also the same attraction, like um, like fish phenoma, fish feeds, where where we use fish meal, and they love that. Nice, good to hear. So yeah. it's like a, a virtual circle. Uh, you use the waste from agriculture, you feed the fish less carbon all all the way, uh, less waste, less uh, less waste. So uh, yeah, that. Sounds amazing. Uh, is your product already available? Of course, of course. We have started to 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 sell it since um since October of the last year. It's available. And where can people find it? You just have to, to go to LinkedIn, and it's a number there where you can uh, call us or just. Text us and we will give you more information about our products and when you 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 can you can get it. Okay. And um, also we also um we also support everyone who wanna start his business in, in the in, in fish farming in aquaculture. We can support you from the idea to the to the, the 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 end of the project, so you can go you you can go and walk without without our help. That's that's really nice. Uh, so it's, yeah, uh, you we will put everything in the show notes so that people who are interested to start a business in aquaculture uh, can reach out to you and get expert advice uh, from you. Yeah. You just can go to LinkedIn and step Shadai Aquaculture. You will have our our page, LinkedIn page, and you you could just text us or call us with with the number there um, to to get more information about about support how how it will gonna gonna be, do go. Okay, and your area is only Senegal or more countries in West Africa? Um, for the moment, only in Senegal. But... Okay. Duly noted. But we are reaching for some partners so we can we can work for, for that. But but for the supporting for 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 starting his your your business in fish farming, it's not only in Senegal. You can we can we can support you everywhere in West Africa. Okay, that's it. Yeah. So uh, the, the angle of our podcast is really to explore the link between uh, agriculture, humans, and cuisine. That's kind of the core of, uh, of uh, FarmNet. And um, uh, why, how, how do you see, uh, do you see any impact from the, the rise in aquaculture Throughout Africa, in uh, culinary practices, do you do you think that people that used to uh, eat differently now that they have aquaculture, they eat uh, more fish and they cook more fish, and it changes gradually the the culture and tradition? Do you see that? So the the angle of the of this podcast is really about exploring uh, the connection between agriculture, 
uh, human and cuisine. So it's kind of all linked, but somehow we feel that uh, we love this connection. So um, the question I have for you is that since aquaculture is, is gaining traction uh, in West Africa, uh, in Africa in general, uh, from what we see uh, online, um, do you do you see that um, there is an impact of uh, aquaculture and uh, and uh, the way people eat? Aquaculture is the hub of all the the walls today, because um, oceans can no no more give us more fishes because of all things we are doing, and particularly in 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 West Africa. We're gonna start the offshore gasodic from Nigeria to Morocco, and it gonna it gonna make us to to have four times less fishes in the Atlantic Ocean, in around the West Africa coast, um, and so we gonna need to have more fishes with the. With our demographic uh, boom in in Africa and also having less fishes, so um, aquaculture gonna be a big um, a big market. And one one um, one advice I have for everyone is to start seeing how how to to how to invest in aquaculture like we are doing in uh, in in agriculture because it's going to be a big market. It's going to have a boom in this, this sector very, very, very soon with the gasodic from, from Nigeria to Morocco. So just to um, just start to, to think about that. Duly noted. Uh, that's a great piece of advice. Uh, thank you so much for sharing. Uh, we ask our guests to, to share uh, advice. And uh, you you actually uh, do so without uh, asking. So that's very generous and very kind of you. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, we the, the last question would be then: um, What kind of food do you like, and what you what you yeah what do you like to eat? Um, the, the, the the kind of food I like I, I like everything with rice. Because I'm Senegal, I'm from Senegal, and we love rice. So I love everything that can be with rice, and uh, with shrimp. I love shrimp. Um, I love every kind of plates with with shrimp, and I just love them. All 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 kind of plate with rice and and shrimp. Okay, that's amazing. So the shrimp that can also be bred uh, using aquaculture. Exactly. Okay. Nice. It can be still be farmed. Yeah. And it's uh it's a sector we we that we we does not um we we does not um much um exploit in, 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 in Africa, the shrimp farming and it's a big market. It's gonna be a big market also because there will be no more fishes, no more shrimp in in our oceans so it can also be a big um a big opportunity for whoever wants to to invest in invest in that okay julie noted um so that concludes our podcast okay thank you so much for joining today thank you to you it was great to to hear uh, about what you do uh, so we will put all the information about Shadai Aquaculture in the show notes and people can contact you uh, for advice and for food, of course, for the fish. Okay, no problem. Thank you so much, Aristine. Thank you for, for this opportunity and uh, I hope um, a lot of people will, will get more interest about, about um, aquaculture. So Same. thank you. Same, uh, yeah, uh, we can see online that uh, their aquaculture is really something that comes often. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I think it would generate interest and uh, yeah, thank you so much for, for spreading good practice, uh, environmental conscious practices 
uh, that that's really uh, the way forward. So thanks to you. Bye. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of Sharing is Caring. It was a pleasure having Aristine Mendez with us, sharing her innovative approach to aquaculture in Senegal. We learned about the importance of sustainable fish farming, the environmental benefits of reducing fish meal and feed production, and the exciting potential for aquaculture to meet protein needs while protecting our oceans. If you found this episode enlightening, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment to let us know your thoughts or any questions you might have. Your engagement helps us grow and continue to bring valuable content. Don't forget to check out our show notes for more information on Shadai aquaculture and how you can get involved in sustainable aquaculture practices. Thanks again for sharing your time with us. Remember, every bit of knowledge shared brings us closer to a more caring and sustainable world. Keep caring, keep sharing, and see you in the next episode. Yeah.